Good morning, Puzzle Gamers! This is Up Next, where I drop puzzle game news to you faster than your average 40-line sprint time. This month's big news. To many fans' delight, a home port of TGM 2 Plus was announced on May 22nd. The second entry in the Tetris The Grandmaster series introduces Sonic Drop, Doubles Mode, and a Versus Mode with unique mechanics. TGM 2 Plus will be released on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch on June 1st in Japan. Considering the release timing of TGM 1, it's safe to expect that TGM 2 Plus will come out June 1st in local America time zones as well. The Tetra World Championship was unveiled on a live stream on Puzzle Kingdom on May 25th. The qualifying circuit is already ongoing and will conclude on October 22nd, and the finals will conclude in November. A lot of puzzle game communities are involved in the TWC, including communities that are based in Latin America, Thailand, Taiwan, and Korea. For more information, worlds.tetra.io will be the central hub for everything pertaining to the Tetra World Championship. But right now, the official website isn't up yet. So here's some information about what's recently happened and what's coming up next for the TWC. A portion of the online qualifiers for the WPLC concluded on May 27th. The stream featured top cuts for Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 and Cultris 2. Puyo Puyo Tetris started with DDR Dan and Jaden in Losers Finals, with OSW waiting to play the winner in Grand Finals. Jaden defeated DDR Dan 10-6, and almost managed to reset the bracket against OSW, but a fatal miss drop in the final round would end the tournament. Oh, 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 um, I missed the oh one. and that is it. Oh, man. OSW earns their trip to WPLC. Yeah. GG's. Culture started with Z2 Sam and Azteca in winner's finals, and Corrosive and GM Noob in loser's semifinals. Z2 Sam got a bracket reset against Azteca and Grants, but Azteca held strong and triumphed against Sam in the bracket reset. Greedy waiting for an eye, but he gets oh, it. Oh, that's it. Oh. GG's. OSW and Azteca have won free trips and lodging to the WPL Championship offline event in Columbus, Ohio. The qualifiers for Tetrio and Tetris Effect Connected are yet to be concluded as of this recording. Tetrio and TC aren't done. I'm not sure when we are going to be streaming those. Um, hopefully this week. We really need to finish these brackets up. Also on the same day, the first main event of the Tetrio World Championship commenced, Team TSD's Tetrio Cup. 342 players entered to compete for the lion's share of the circuit points for the TWC and for the hope to take down CZ Small. Diao managed to reset the bracket against CZ Small in Grand Finals 11 to 9. And to go against it. I mean, honestly, it could have just oh, been shit. too risky. No and way. Diao reset. Yo. Diao beat CZ. But CZ managed to come out on top in the bracket reset. Never oh, that's such up. a bad position, though. He needs Can to get I through this. Cycling? Oh my and god, it's not over. not able to do it. And CZ is your Tetrio Cup 15 champion. Blarg and Vince HD round out the top four to earn their share of the prize pool worth $2,051.44. Hummingbird Nest will be hosting Radiant and Stratosphere, minor qualifying events for the TWC. Radiant will cater to players in Asian time zones, while Stratosphere will cater to those in the Western time zones. Both series will have five events each. Also a part of the Tetra World Championship, Modern Tetra Showdown 3 is an offline tournament in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In addition to Tetrio, MTS3 will also host Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 and Tetris Effect Connected tournaments. Modern Tetra Showdown 3 is scheduled to take place on July 8th. On the Puyo Puyo side of things, Zan's Puyo Challenger's competitive bracket continues in June, hosted on the same two Discord communities as last month. The English Puyo Puyo Community Discord will have theirs on June 2nd, but now on Puyo Puyo Champions on Switch instead of Puyo Puyo Tetris 2. Meanwhile, Puyo Tet World will have their Challengers bracket on June 16th, still on Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 on Switch. There is no official stream for Puyo Challengers, but Zon posts information about any players that will be streaming the Challengers tournament run, so be sure to follow his Twitter to stay informed. Phenotype has confirmed on Twitter that Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 Swap is an official community side tournament at CEO 2023. CEO is primarily a fighting game event, but it still welcomes games from other spaces. This year even has four tournaments for rhythm games. Registration for PPT2 Swap is open now, and the tournament will happen on Friday, June 23rd at 6 p.m. Eastern. If you can't make it to CEO, the tournament will also be streamed on twitch.tv slash 645. Wumble will be hosting an online Tetris tournament called Summertide Splash later in June. Summertide Splash will be played on Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 on Switch, and the prize pool is starting at $1,000 thanks to Metify, with at least 200 more thanks to Macharino crowdfunding. Summertize already has some Tetris monsters in the bracket, including Japanese puzzle god Amamiya, 
Jaden, the Tetris Effect Connected Sprint World Record Holder, and Square One 2023 Top 4 Finishers Uyashota and OSW. Summertime Splash will be streamed on Wombo's channel. And lastly, a small event from Japan. There will be an offline classic Tetris tournament in Japan called the Waku Waku NES Teto Matsuri, or the Exciting Classic Tetris Festival in June. The venue is Ota City Industrial Plaza Pio, and the festival will take place on June 17th and 18th in Japan time. There's no details if the event will be streamed or who's entered the tournament. And that's it for what's coming up next for June. If there's some news or an event that I missed, please let me know in the comments, or you can reach me out on Twitter, at Kiobi, and I'll see you in a few weeks to talk about what's up next in July. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Can I stop now?